Hello Stampers, it's Allison Salvin with another video and today I wanted to show you how I made this card. It uses many new products from the 2012-2013 um, catalog from Stampin' Up! which is being launched today. Today is June the 1st, so everything I'm showing you today you can purchase. Let me get started. So first of all I wanted to cut a card that was a bit of a different shape. This is one of the new Biggs dies that's in the catalog. Now it's a clear die so it might be a little bit hard to see it. It is called the Clear Oval Accent Die and it is on an angle. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to cut a shape so that when I opened my card, the card kept the shape of the oval. And here's how you do that. You take a piece of cardstock and you fold it in half so you've got your crease line and you place it on the die. In this case we're going to have to go um, across the die and we're just lining it up below the cutting line. So traditionally you would cut it like this and you get the whole piece. But I don't want to do that. I want to have a nice little fold at the top. So that's how we do it. And bring in the big shot. And because it's a big die, the sandwich is clear plate, die, paper, clear plate. So I'm just going to place this in my Big shot and run that through. And you'll see that what I love about these clear dies is you can just poke your finger and it just pops out. So that gives me a die shape or a card shape that's got a fold on it. Okay, now I don't want this to show on my card. I don't think that looks very good. So the next thing I did was I cut another piece, just a single piece, in Baja. And I'm just going to cut that in a traditional way. So that when I place it over my card, I'm going to have that fold covered because it's not going to show on the front. So it's going to look like a complete card. The next thing I wanted to do was I wanted to add a little bit of texture to this Baja, I just didn't want it to be plain. So I'm going to bring in another new Big Shot item. This is a fancy fan embossing folder. And what's really great about it is that it's actually longer than the current folders, so you get really fabulous coverage. You don't end up with that little bit at the end that just might not fit on the front of a traditional card. So the sandwich for this kind of card, or sorry, this kind of die embossing folder is we've got our embossing folder. We're going to put our die in. Now you do want to make sure um, if you care whether it's a embossed image or a debossed image, you want to make sure this fits only one way, okay? Just because of the way it's cut. So that's going to fit like that. So this is going to be in the top. So I want it to be facing up towards my Stampin' Up! and Sizzix words. Okay, so we're just going to make our sandwich, which is the two clear plates with the embossing folder inside. You want to run it through with the open end. You don't want to put that, too much pressure on that hinge. Okay, so here we go. So now we've got two of the um, elements for this card. And the last element I wanted to show you was this um, framelit. So I'm going to bring those in and show you. This is a new framelit. It's called Apothecary Accent. And it's got pieces that actually work with a lot of stamp sets that are going to be available. This is beautiful. This actually works and fits, as you can see, same shape or similar shape to this accent die. And then we've got these other little pieces that are really cool. This is like a big banner. This one here works with a stamp set called World Treasures. If you visit my blog you'll see I've got lots of samples using that. So the first thing you want to do is stamp your image. In this case I'm using a stamp set called Layered Labels. You can see that the framelits work with this. And this beautiful big one here, this is one stamp set. Uh, this big one here that says Heartfelt. 
I've already gone ahead and pre-stamped um, this. I'm just going to turn this around because it's hitting the camera and it keeps moving my camera. Live television, that's what you get. So I've gone ahead and I've stamped this heartfelt image ahead of time. I'm going to take my framelit and remember that your framelit wants to go face down, this edge wants to go face down on your stamped image because that's what's going to cut it out. And the tip that I offered in an earlier video was I find that I just, by putting my little post-it notes across this, it holds that frame in place as it's going through the big shot, it won't slip. So we've got our clear cutting plate, paper, framelit, second clear cutting plate, and this time we're going to completely close our multi-purpose platform. Run that through. And when you peel off the post-it notes, you end up with your cut framelit, just like that. Isn't that great? Love it. I'm going to bring the card in again and just talk about some of the elements. So here's the finished card. And what I've done is I did stamp this in a different color. This is stamped in soft suede. And I stamped it three times. The first time I had the full image. The next cut, I freehand cut this oval shape. And then this little piece here is actually cut with another brand new framelit called Banners. And um, I just chose the word heartfelt and I just placed it on the, um, put the framelit on top and cut it out so it's like a little banner shape. I went in and watercolored this with Baja Breeze. And then I just applied some accent pearls here. So the card opens like so. And like I said, here's the pieces that we just made. This all gets glued together. And in this case, I just made it in this color just so you could see it pop out. So I hope you've enjoyed that. And today is June 1st. Everything I've shown you is now available for purchase. So happy stamping and happy shopping. Thanks so much.